Okay, so many of you know, if you've been watching the news, what kind of weather we're getting. This is probably the coldest it's ever been in my entire lifetime. Minus 60 wind chills, I'm hearing. Uh, right now, if you look, we are 20 below zero right now at 724. And if my phone is reading correctly, tomorrow in 11 hours, we're going to bottom out at 29 below with wind chills probably minus 53 where we are. So that means that we need to prepare for, you know, this. And we've done a lot of that preparation. Karen and the girls uh, and Jack, they got a lot of the animal stuff already taken care of, but we still need to check on them because in this kind of weather, things don't always go as planned. Um, so, our claim to fame here on YouTube is Justin Rhodes being told by me when he was visiting from the Great American Farm Tour that it gets 60 below zero. Well, it doesn't get 60 below zero where we live, but that is the record low temperature in where, Maddie? Tower? Tower, Minnesota. Tower, Minnesota. And so, we're not going to reach that, but this is definitely the coldest that I've been a part of. So this video is all about showing what it's like to farm at 60 below wind chill, which I'm guessing isn't really that different from 60 below temperature. When it gets this cold, it's just... It's just cold. <laughs> it's just, your face freezes off and your cars don't start. I think that's what I told Justin. And for some reason, he thought he would mention something very special about Minnesota. He said, you know it gets minus 60 here. I thought for a minute, I said, minus 60? I said, don't bad things happen at minus 60? And he said, yeah, your car won't start and your face freezes off in three minutes. It's true. The news is all full of people whose cars don't start because the batteries just don't, they just don't work. So, step one of farming at this temperature is how to properly dress because your face will freeze in how many minutes? They said skin freezes in like five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. Your face is gone. So, <laughs> You have to dress appropriately. So we'll go around the room here to show this is everything, just pan it there, everything that you need to wear to go outside and just check the animals. We're not even going to do any work. We're just going to check on the animals. Step one, big long socks to cover all the way up to your calves because you're going to be cold. And then step two, wool socks to go over them because your feet they're gonna be cold. A uh, base layer on your legs, you could go long johns or tractor supply, Carhartt, whatever, fleece lined jeans. Thank you, honey, that's a great gift. Next would be another base layer shirt. You have your undershirt and then fleece lined plaid shirt. Plaid shirts are warmer than regular fleece lined shirts. <laughs> and then I would say a nice footed sweatshirt, something that you can get around the neck around the neck to keep all the air from escaping. Your outer layer, you got your scarf, you got a nice pair of gloves, make sure the gloves go way past your wrists, and also perfect hat. You can't just wear the hat, it's got to cover the ears. What are you laughing at? Sorry. <laughs> Do you think this is funny? This yes. is serious business, people. It's got to be. <laughs> Where are you? Well, there you are. It's got to be convertible because you don't want all of your face to freeze. This is pretty much all that should be exposed. So you got to do a face mask too. Next is Carhartt jacket, also fleece lined. <laughs> Second to last, Carhartt bibs, overalls, insulated. And then last, can you go get my boots? Yes. Last, you need boots, obviously. Thumbs up. This is like a Carhartt commercial. Mm. You ready? You ready, Manny? Mm -hmm. I can't put my arms down. Okay, I actually can. It's funny. It's funny when I do it. Because you're know, Randy. Because I'm Randy, like, uh... like from the movie. That last glove is killer. You got to have somebody help you. I always had someone do this for me in like yeah. first grade. Yeah. All right, Maddie, what kind of certified crazy is this? Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota crazy. All right. Here. Out to the cold. All 
Everything covered? Yes. Here we go. We made it. Yes. Foggy glasses and everything. Yep. So as you can hear above me, that is a garage heater. Just keeping our garage here. Uh, it's above freezing. So hopefully our plan, it looks so old like this. <laughs> our plan. <laughs> Anyway, the plan here is we have our bunnies inside. They all look real happy. Technically, I think all of our animals would survive just fine if they're out of the wind. Uh, next thing would be the sheep and Willa, who have made their way into, and some chickens. They've made their way into the shop back here. Willa is just, uh, hi, hi, is just out here in the shop. We got hay bales up against the door. Hi. And uh, we got the sheep in here who are uh, recently shorn, unfortunately, but still doing fine. They still come over thinking they're going to get a handout of sunflower seeds. And then a couple more sheep over here. They like to snuggle. And then lastly, the pet chickens. Who are sleeping in their feeder. Are yeah. roosting on the feeders Look. in our old brooder. And the cats, who don't realize that it's warmer in the shop, have decided to high up as they can and go in here. If they would just go into the into the shop, then they would be about 30 degrees warmer. So what we're going to do is that area in there is insulated and heated, and this area is not. So we're actually going to open that door for the night and see if we can get these sheep a little bit warmer. And then hope to goodness that especially that one doesn't have lambs. have lambs because she has a huge udder and milk bag on her and that would be super unfortunate because there is very little that we could do to keep that lamb uh, alive in this kind of weather. Unless we brought him inside. Unless we brought him inside and kept him in the oven. <laughs> Which uh, I've seen done on Facebook. Uh, other challenges of winter here is that every water heater has to be on and that can tax the old electrical. So in this case we have one, two, and then sheep, chickens has four heated waters in the here. chicken water froze. <laughs> and the chicken water already froze. This heated, this uh, plastic heated water bowl actually has worked out really okay. Has never had any issues with freezing, however, these, uh, if I can get my hand in there, these water heaters, as you can see, this kind here, they have a harder time keeping up. So we got to check on those. It looks like it's good now, but I'll venture to guess that it's frozen come morning time. What could you use? Someone to play with? Do you want a belly rub? Mm -hmm. All right, so the ram and the other one over there, they're by themselves. Uh, that's Martha. We've determined that she can't get pregnant. And we don't want the ram with the pregnant ewes and the, uh, and the uh, new lambs for obvious reasons, because um, he'll get a little rambunctious. <laughs> but they're looking kind of cold and, and a little shivery, so we're gonna give them a heat lamp. We had a heat lamp for them before, um, but they didn't really seem like they were uh, they didn't sleep underneath it or anything. So this is a Premier One heat lamp. They're expensive, but they're really nice, especially for peace of mind because they have this plastic enclosure. And then this piece here, so if a sheep kicks it off and it falls, it lands, it's not going to start your barn on fire. So we invested in a few of these. Work really great. The only problem with them is that they can't handle a 250 watt bulb which is kind of what we like in these coldest times. But they will take 175, which is good enough. All right, so now we're going to go out to the chicken coop that has all the layers in it. We're gonna hang a heat lamp above, the uh, roost. above their roost so they have a little radiant heat on them at night. It'll hit their heads, which is good because the frostbite 
comes with the combs, so if you can keep the heat on their heads, that's fine. They don't mm -hmm. need heat on their bodies because it's going to be hard for that heat to penetrate anyway with all the feathers. So and they really, all snuggled up. And they're snuggled up, so they got got heat on the sides from their neighbors. They got heat on the backs and their tummies from their feathers. Uh, but there's not much you can do about their feet. So. Well, they sit on their feet. Yeah, when when they're roosting, they sit on the tops of their feet. So. Yeah, I'm sure you're glad to be in here. It's much warmer in here, isn't it? All right, you ready to go out in the cold? <laughs> How's your frozen water bowl? Pretty funny because uh, two feet above the floor, the water's frozen, but uh, four feet above the floor, not. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Speaking of frozen water, uh, one thing that we have to do to keep the water from freezing, that is whew, the water hydrant itself, is this little contraption. Probably too dark to see. Yeah, Thank you, Maddie. And there's uh, some stuff there. So this is a plastic bucket, and you can tell it's glowing from below. There's a hole in the top. And this right here is a heat lamp, which is pointed at the hydrant inside there. And it is uh, keeping our water from freezing because it always freezes about this time of year from weather not as bad as this. Yeah. So uh, here, why don't you hold this and I'll show the folks at home because the CFL lights <laughs> won't light up. Boom. <laughs> it's like a big spotlight. Uh, behold. Uh-oh. It's what? frozen. Is it really? Not even the heat lamp could save us now. Oh, look at that. <gasps> we have water! Woo! Woohoo! I love water. So look at this. It's so it's wet. That's why it froze. This might be the last water of the year from this hydrant. No! All in water after this. Well, we'll get the heat lamp on it as fast as we can. The other thing we have is we have insulated uh, pipe wrap here and then there's actually a heated wire that's coming up and keeping this warm too. And that's on a thermostat. It's only on when it gets below like 20. <laughs> it's definitely below 20. Below zero even. Right. This water's only been out for... Uh, like three seconds. <laughs> well, maybe a minute, and you can already see the ice crystals forming on the top. So we have one, one heat lamp in here, which is doing an okay job, but every little bit helps. Uh, and we're just going to take a piece of, just going to take a piece of uh, rope and tie it to the wall so that it is directly on the chickens. And uh, you know, one on. A couple unfortunate things about weather like this is if you don't get the eggs right away. As they're coming out of the like chicken. Like as they're coming out of the chicken, they're pretty much a, a waste in terms of human eating, but. Willa loves them. <laughs> they make great dog food. It's kind of an eerie crunching sound as she's chewing on them too. It's a little weird. And our water is freezing up on the top already. And then unfortunately the last thing, which it's hard to tell, but yep, that is a poopsicle. Chicken poopsicle. Um, and unfortunately, that will have to be cut off tomorrow. tomorrow for hygiene and safety reasons. So, uh, we're gonna have to shut the camera off. I can't show you anything more because it's so cold that the battery is just about dead. Uh, so, on the other hand, we're pretty warm. My head is actually sweating and so are my feet. I have four pairs of socks on and my feet have never been warmer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably show, not on YouTube, show on Instagram uh, the results of two days of, you know, this. And a report of if everybody survived. It's looking good so far, so let's hope that it stays that way. Yep. Right, ladies? 
Oh, we should also show this. Put that light on here, Maddie. Poor Tobias. The beginnings of frostbite have already set in with these birds that have huge and, combs. And then this hen's got frostbite on her wattles because she's got a little frostbite. drinking water. Yeah, from the water and stuff. And, you know, they'll live. But, uh, you, you can know, actually put like Vaseline or coconut oil or something on it and it helps. Yeah. They'll live in uh, this summer. You will never know that it happened, but it's kind of sad right now. Good night, ladies. Stay warm. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> Tobias. Teddy. Te Teddy. Little Jerry. <laughs> Little Jerry. Good night. <laughs>